log into AWS Management Console and browse through the EC2 service. EC2 dashboard is showing that there are no running instances at the moment since the instance which is created in the previous lecture is got terminated. Let me go ahead and create a EC2 instance in the public subnet. Hence, click on launch instance. Then select the AMI of your choice. And I am choosing Amazon Linux AMI. Click on select. Then choose the instance type. I will choose t2.micro. Then click on next configure instance details. Then under the networking section, make sure that you have selected the custom VPC which is got created in the previous lecture. Then select the subnet. There is only one subnet at the moment which is configured as a public subnet. Then click on next. Let me create a EC2 instance with the default volume size. Click on next. I am giving the tag. The key name is name. The value is public server. Click on next. I am creating with the default security group configurations. Click on next. Launch. Select the key pair. Then click on launch instances. Once the AWS has provisioned the EC2 instances on the selected VPC, click on view instances. We can see that the AWS is still in the process of creating the EC2 instances. Click on refresh. Meanwhile, we can verify that the EC2 instance has got a private IP in the range of a subnet. Then it has got a public IP allocated automatically by the AWS. Let me log into the instance by copying the public IP. Go to Putty. Provide the IP address. Let me increase the font for better visibility. Then click on SHS, Auth, Browse, provide the key, then click on Open. You can see that the server is accessible from outside of the VPC network. Provide the username to login. Then we need to switch to the root account to have a Linux administrative related activities. Run sudo su hyphen to become as a root user. This instance has got access to the internet through the internet gateway so we can download the packages required. To test this, run m install httpd. We can see that it has been connected to the internet to the respective repositories to download the packages. And the package is downloaded and installed. Let me clear the screen. Now I'll go ahead and create one more subnet and create a private instance. Go back to the AWS management console. Head over to the VPC service to create a subnet. Then click on subnets. Then click on create subnet to create a private subnet. Give the name as IVQ subnet2 hyphen private then select the vpc in which vpc the subnet has to be created select the custom vpc from the drop down then select the subnet has to be associated with which availability zone i am choosing us east 1b then we need to specify the network range of this subnet provide 192.168.2.0/24 then click on create. Now the subnet has got created successfully on the custom VPC. Now head over to the route tables to create a new route table for this new subnets. Click on create a route table. Provide the name of the route table. I will mention it as IVQ route table 2 for private. 
then select the VPC in which VPC the route table has to be created. Select the custom VPC from the drop down and click on create. The route table has got created successfully and we need to associate this route table to the subnet. Click on subnet associations. Click on edit subnet associations. Then choose the private subnet which you have just created which is 192.168.2.0/24 subnet range. Select the subnet then click on save so that the new subnet which you have just created will be using this route table and as per the routes it can have access only to the local gateway to reach to the each instances within the VPC range. This instances cannot have access to the outside world through the internet gateway as the route table is not having a entry to route the traffic to the internet gateways. Now go ahead and deploy a EC instance in the new subnet which is just created. Go to services tab, click on EC2, then click on launch instances. Then we need to choose the AMI, I will choose Linux AMI. Then choose the instance type as t2.micro in my case. Then under the network configuration, select the custom VPC. We can see that there are two subnets are available in the drop down for selection in the custom VPC. Select the private subnet from the label. Then click on next. Go to the default options. Click on next. Add a tag. I will mention it as IVQ private server. Click on next. Click on review and launch. Launch the instance and select the key pair from the drop down. Click on launch instances. Now the AWS is provisioning a one more EC2 instance in the new subnet. Once the provisioning is completed, click on view instances then we can see that AWS is still in the process of provisioning the instances click on the instance from the metadata we can see that the AWS has allocated a private IP in the range of 192.168.2. series which is the network range of the subnet 2 and there is no public IP allocated for this EC2 instance as because this is used as a private instances which is accessible within the VPC range. Public IP is not required for this EC2 instance. In order to log into this EC2 instance, you cannot have access to this private IP from outside of the VPC network. To log into this private IP, we need to log in only from the public server. I have already logged into the public server, hence go back to your partition. From the public server, now I can initiate a SSH connection to the private instances. Hence, run the command SSH. The username is ec2-user at the rate and provide the private IP of your instance. Then hit enter. Confirm it. We can see that the permission is denied is mean that the instance is expecting the key pair to be submitted at the time of a login. The way how we have submitted a key pair at the time of login from party, the same way you need to provide the key pair at the time of logging in to the EC2 instances. Hence go back to the download section where we have the key available, then open the key, then copy the key. Make sure that you are copying the .pem key as you are logging into the instances from the Linux machine as a client. Then create a key. I will mention it as key.pem. Then we can paste the key here. Save the key. Make sure that you have 600 permissions for your key for security reasons. Then we can try to access this EC2 instance one more time 
by submitting this key pair so let me modify the command accordingly ssh hyphen i then specify the key name ssh hyphen i then specify the key name and hit enter we can see that successfully i have logged into the private instances as well and for any administrative related activities we can switch to the root and clear the screen now currently i have logged into 192.168.2.113 server which is the private instance deployed into the private subnet as we discussed in the previous lecture the instance which is deployed in the private subnet will not be having a internet connectivity to verify this let me try to install the packages run m install httpd y we can see that the instance is not able to connect to the repositories available in the internet to download the packages in order to fix the issue we need to create a nat gateway then attach the nat gateway as a route to the route tables to do that let me head over to the aws management console go back to aws management console and browse through vpc service to create a nat gateways click on nat gateways there are no nat gateways are currently created in this specified region click on create nat gateway then specify that the NAT gateway should be get deployed in which subnet. Make sure that you are choosing the public subnet created in your custom VPC. As because the NAT gateways always should be get deployed into the public subnet to have access to the internet gateways. Then click on create a new EIP which will create a new public IP for your NAT gateways. Click on create a NAT gateway so that the AWS will create a NAT gateway in your specified VPC. Click on close. Refresh the screen. Once the NAT gateway is in available state, we can head over to the route tables to update the routes accordingly. We can verify that the NAT gateway is having a public IP and also the private IP in the range of the public subnet. Click on route tables, select the route table which is associated with your private subnet, click on routes, click on edit routes, add a route, specify that by default the network traffic should go through the NAT gateway if the destination is not falling under the VPC range, hence select 0000 slash 0, then under the target section click on NAT gateway then select the NAT gateway which you have just created then click on save routes click on close once you have updated the private route tables accordingly to route the traffic to the NAT gateway let me go ahead and verify if the instance is now got the internet access log into the private instance from the public instance then run the command called m install httpd y now we can see that the private instance is able to connect to the internet and it is able to download the packages required via the nat gateway and the packages are installed successfully that means the instance can have access to the internet but the users cannot have access to the private instances from outside of the vpc network This is explaining how to deploy the VPC architecture in the AWS cloud and how to configure Bastion host which we can use to have access to the private instances deployed in the private subnets. That's it for this lecture. We'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.